What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know how the audio is gonna come out because it is incredibly windy today. Uh, it's like 50 mile per hour gusts, unfortunately. But um, I'm gonna review this footage. We'll see if it works, but today is the first track day I have ever done and I am so excited. You guys know I've been prepping for this for a very long time and this car is absolutely going to be ready. Um, we're taking a little lunch break right now. We did some instruction, some class time, uh, talking about safety aspects, uh, talking about techniques on the track. Um, what are the best ways to get your car uh, around the corners? And then we actually went out as a big group and I'll put some clips of this here. Uh, we went out as a big group and walked the track uh, with our, our training group here. Uh, and we talked about every single corner. Uh, this, the we are at La Junta Raceway in Colorado. Um, it is just over a mile, I think it's 1.3 miles of a track, so it's relatively short. Um, it is has seven turns, so um, a couple pretty harsh 90 degree turns and a couple really tricky long um, overhand turns and uh, some sweeping, some sweepers, some sweeping turns, so uh, we'll see uh, how I do. I'm going to make sure that I have the GoPro on my helmet. So when I go out on the track, I'm gonna be filming as much of this as possible uh, for you guys. But one other thing I wanted to show you guys on the car that I, is a little bit of a surprise um, are these door cards right here. The wind is going to be a big factor in today's experience. It's supposed to die down a little bit tomorrow, which is nice because tomorrow we're actually doing our time trials. Uh, so today's really the learning day. We're gonna do a bunch of lead follows, um, really get out on the track to slowly build that confidence and learn the track well before starting to push. So um, just wanted to shout out Next Level Vinyl for these door cards, the number cards on my door. Um, they are absolutely amazing and they're magnetic too which means i can take them off change them if i have to use to run a different number in future events um, but i can take them off put them back on turn my daily driver into a race car instantly so they look amazing shout out to eric over at next level vinyl if you guys have any graphics needs any vinyl needs make sure you go hit him up because he does everything and everything that he does is amazing quality so that's what i got for you guys right now um, next you're going to see is the lead follow uh, going out on track with our full group just at um, you know 50 percent speed um, just getting a, a feel for the track see what it's like and then we're going to start picking it up and do some more aggressive driving so before I dive into the actual videos of me going onto the track, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what this track is. Uh, so it's 1.3 miles in length, uh, seven turns. Um, the top right corner, you'll see an extra little strip of black pavement, which is the hot pit or the pit lane, uh, where the enter entry and the exit is. Um, and that's also where the start finishes uh, in the middle there marked by the red line um, so like i said it's a shorter track relatively short track which means that when you shave time you know it really um, makes a difference because uh, it really means something you know a half second on a short track means uh, or it's comparable to a full second on a, a bigger track so um, going into turn one we have that really long straight uh, turn one and two are really combined. They're both uh, part of the same part of the uh, this large, uh, pretty long right hander, a sweeping right hander. Um, at the end of turn two, there is actually a pretty severe bump um, as the uh, the it transitions from um, asphalt to pavement or to cement, uh, whatever that material is. But um, then you have this this kind of the sea of concrete uh, going into turn three. So you really have to memorize where the lines are and not get lost in there. And uh, you guys will see pretty soon why I'm saying that. But um, turn three, you have some pretty good curbing on the left side there as you're coming out because it is a pretty harsh uh, turn uh, at high speed. 
pretty short straight between three and four, and then you have two 90 degree turns in four and five. Um, you really have to use the curbing, um, really hold your speed through those and not over brake so you can get a good exit out of five onto the back straight uh, between five and six. Uh, turn six is kind of like a little kink in the road. Uh, it's not really a turn. You just have to tap the brakes, get the car settled. Um, a couple pretty bad bumps uh, around that area too. So um, you really have to get the car settled before doing the, the braking zone for turn seven. Turn seven is just a pretty uh, long, a longer turn than four and five. Uh, a little bit more radius on it, but you can really hook the inside pavement uh, to get yourself a good exit onto back onto the main street. So, all right, guys. So we are lined up for the first time out on the track as a big group. We're going to be doing some uh, tight group, uh, just going around the track, not full speed. Obviously, we're all going to be getting a feel for this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see or if you guys can hear me pretty well, but uh, we got all the cars lined up straight this way, and uh, yeah, I am super excited. You, you. So narrator Kevin here, um, just watching this footage over, I wanted to give you guys a little explanation here. Uh, so this next clip that's coming up right here is uh, a bit of me going off the track for the first time. Um, this, this was my first time following uh, or not following. Uh, it was the first time doing this big right-hander uh, without somebody in front of me and seeing their braking point, seeing their line. And uh, I just overcooked it a little bit, didn't brake uh, soon enough and it didn't turn in soon enough. Um, there's a big concrete pad here and it's easy to get lost in it. So here's me going off right here. So pretty low speed. Uh, I clutched in and braked at the same time. That's really important um, to make sure the car doesn't die. Um, but the big thing here is if you're not in a direct line to get back on the track, you should uh, turn away from the track so you can get eyes on the corner station, which you can see on my left here, there's two guys manning the flags. Uh, and they, I, uh, before going back on, 
I wait for them to signal and they uh, give me a wave that yes, the track is clear and yes, you can come back on. Um, if you guys are doing time trials, make sure if you go all four wheels off, you do have to self-report and check in uh, with the race admin uh, who is in the pit lane, what they call the hot pits. So I'm just taking my time, making sure there's not any dirt left on those tires before uh, really pushing the car again and uh, making my way back to the pits. So that was my first time out on track. Um, a lot of things. First, I'm probably gonna sit down and give you guys a little more in depth about that experience when I've had some time to collect my thoughts here, but um, I did go off. It was not as scary as I thought because I was basically full on the brakes when I did go off. Um, basically, that was my first lap not following Trey, who's one of the instructors today. And uh, I kind of forgot that what point he started braking at and I waited maybe 15 feet a bit too late to get on the brakes there in that turn so ended up going off the track no big deal uh, cars not damaged everything feels fine a um, couple things if you guys are taking your car on the track you will need to uh, make sure that your car is not using your e-brake or your normal brake because you will hot spot your rotors and your pads they will they could fuse together when they're so hot so we're letting the car cool down uh, we put uh, a chalk in front of the one of the wheels so the car doesn't roll and we're not using our e-brakes or our brakes while the car is parked. The other thing I'm doing is I'm running the heat on high because with the way these cars work, they use heat from the block to in your heater core to heat your interior of your car when it's running. So if you crank the heat all the way up, it pulls heat away from the engine. So uh, we're just letting that run for a little bit. My coolant temps, the highest I saw was 221. Um, oil temps right now are 212, all within reason. Um, I think a top mount oil cooler will help. It is about 85 to 86 degrees right now. But uh, yeah, I'm, I am pumped guys. Can't wait to go back out there. Uh, and then probably in like maybe 30 minutes to an hour here, so. Today is the start of day two. Um, today is the actual time trials day, which means we have uh, quite a few different groups here on track today or uh, in the paddock. Um, for our groups, uh, basically, or for our little segment, it's uh, we have group one and two. So group one is novice and intermediate, and then group two is intermediate slash advanced. So I'm gonna be in group one. I'm not kidding myself. I'm definitely not fast enough yet uh, to join that more advanced group. So. Um, it's going to be a really good experience, I think. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, we got a little bit of time here in the morning. Um, you're gonna notice that my nose is <laughs> really sunburnt. Uh, so tip number 48 for being on, uh, you know, going to the track, uh, make sure you bring sunscreen. So um, same as yesterday, I'm going to be throwing the GoPro on and taking you guys with me. Um, Still learning the track a little bit, getting better each lap, uh, but I think today I'm gonna be able to push the car a little bit more, um, keep more speed in the corners. That's really, really where I'm losing time. So uh, just trusting, uh, committing to the corners and not um, you know, panic breaking midway through and letting myself roll all the way to the edge of the track on the outside of the corner. So um, yeah. Here we go guys, session number two, day two.
Oh my gosh, guys. So you guys just watched the GoPro footage from my hot lap in session three of the day. This is the last and final session, uh, or it was, and um, I am, I am just so happy, so excited for the future. Um, the track Addict app uh, showed a 58.3, but my GPS signal isn't always uh, too accurate. But um, the, transpond the transponder system that they're using on the front here, um, it did confirm 58.3. So absolutely incredible. Um, I'm just, I I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Uh, just slowly gaining confidence, learning every single bump and crack on this track. Um, I probably put in 120 laps total over the last couple days. Um, and uh, for a track this size, shaving seconds from start to finish, you know, yesterday I finished with a, my best was a 102 or a 103, I think. And um, dropping five seconds in total is just, it's massive on a, on a small track. It's only 1.3 miles, so it's uh, seven turns. So huge improvements. I'm so excited for what's next. Um, this car is just fantastic. I haven't had any issues. Um, a little bit of overheating, which I'm gonna address in a, a video coming up very soon. I actually have a list of things that I want to do based on conversations I've had with the other drivers, based on things that I've noticed in the car. Um, and that's one of the best parts about doing these events, guys. You don't have to have a fully modded car. You just need something that's reliable enough to push hard, um, that it's not gonna blow up, but also something that you know that you can trust over you know, harsh bumps at speed. And so that's all you really need. And a helmet, you need a helmet too, and seat belts. So if any of you guys are running a car without seat belts, I, please don't do that. But uh, regardless, one of the best parts about these events is the people you'll meet here. Um, I've made a couple friends already. Um, my buddy Trey, who runs the Flying Lap, um, his YouTube channel, I reviewed his track, STI, over there. The blue one all the way down there, but um, I reviewed it in a previous video. I'm gonna put that link in the description. I'm also gonna please ask you guys, if you're interested in this kind of content, he is the man for creating videos and content on the SCCA time trials, uh, so the entire series for the season. So. Um, if you guys can please just go ahead, go over to his channel, hit subscribe, like a couple of his videos, because his stuff is going to be just as cool as mine. So if you like WRX Garage content, you're gonna love the Flying Laps content. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I got a long drive home. I gotta pack up all my, my stuff here, but uh, <laughs> I'm just so incredibly excited and proud in um i really want to take a second to thank all of our sponsors um groom speed parent faction fab all the parts that you guys have helped us get onto the car um i've really made a difference in reliability and power and in handling on this amazing car so um thank you guys from the bottom of my heart um, for helping us out and letting us uh, or letting me build this car to be a track monster like it should be. So that's all I have for you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week. Peace.